Hi guys, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter and I'm coming to you with a quick project share of a mini album I uh, completed for a baby girl. For those of you who are not aware, uh, January is uh, when we celebrate Sanctity of Life um, uh, during this month. So I wanted to um, use that inspiration to make something for someone and lo and behold, um, I was able to make this for a baby girl that will be born in a couple of weeks, so I'm super excited about that. Um, and I'm hoping that mom and dad like it. I had a lot of fun making it, and I'm just going to walk through the project uh, and how uh, I made it. Uh, I did use this um, paper line, <laughs> this is all that's left of it, Authentique, um, that some of you may have, and it's... Uh, called let's see here it's called imagine and it has all these beautiful papers with a carousel theme so uh and on the cover as you can tell i used the paper with the two little horses there um and i did uh use my cricut but i did bind it also with my cinch i wanted to show the side there uh, the background uh, paper that you see that looks kind of it almost looks peachy colored in the picture here it's actually a very light pink and i sprayed it with gold uh, paint and also uh, distressed the edges um, to make it shabby chic but not too dark um, the flowers i made with different um, inks as well and then i went ahead and used some really thick cardstock to um, to make those um, very shabby flowers there. And I also used vellum throughout. So that's how I made this little flower here. Uh, and the little butterflies, I used a Martha Stewart punch and made those out of vellum. Uh, I used some antique applique that I had in my stash and a little sprig here that I got recently. Um, these little bitty flowers are from Tim Holtz and I inked those as well to match everything else. And then I added this little um, clear flower there that has the little heart gem in the center. Uh, that came with a little, um, uh, it was like a little spray and it came with the, these three little gems there and a feather, but I took it apart and um, used it differently there. Um, I also uh, embossed the name. Her name is Kimora Lyric, and I used her name as an, the inspiration to design the inside, but um, that's all been also distressed with inks and, um, and embossed with a, a glitter embossing powder. So that's the front, and it's also, I, I put tool between the paper and the background to give it a little more texture in that it's a gold glimmer tool so um so yeah i'll move on to page one which is the inside here and i'm going to try to zoom in to make this a little easier for myself um, so this one here is this page has the harp that i made with my cricut um, that i went ahead and glimmered the little strings on and then i made the little banner with some music sheet paper. The paper line has these little cutouts of different images that have to do with um, carousels and things like that. So I went ahead and uh, cut that out and backed it up with uh, a scalloped edge die. I cut these out with my Cricut and those are little tags that look like tickets that um, can be written on in the back. I, I use heavy cardstock back there so that they can write on that. Then on this page, I went ahead and used the image itself from the, the page and made a pocket because I really loved how shabby that looked, uh, an antique, I should say, uh, the carousel image. So I went ahead and used that um, as a tip to make a tag in the shape of a carousel with the three little horses. And they can put a little note there or, you know, a, a very small picture, and I'm sorry for being out of frame there, but I um, went ahead and made a little elephant tag to fit in that page, which I backed up with white cardstock. And all of the pages have um, large tags on the inside that will give them plenty of room for pictures. So the first one I made quite elaborate, 
and I'm sorry I have to be out of frame to get it out of the page because I can't reach <laughs> because of where my camera is but um, so I repeated that same page there because I, I really like that image and I wanted it to be the first one um, but I made this one a little fancier than the rest by using that elaborate die at the top there and then I stamped the musical images there with a couple different stamps that I have um, and did the inking on the edges because I, wa I wanted that to, you know, kind of be representative of, of the baby's name um, or her middle name. And then this page here, this page spread has enough th room there for pictures and I wanted to keep it very simple so that mom could put the pictures any way she would like on that particular page, but I did add some texture by using those little hearts um, to cut out of the paper and then I backed it up with another paper that has little hearts on it and I added this little element there the little heart and um, that die cut cuts out the little bow and the string there um, all of the other pages have the same tags so I'm not going to pull them all out but they all have this sort of look with a, a rose stamped in the back um, On this next page, as you can see, I made some tags uh, using the paper collection where um, here I made a ballerina, uh, added it to that tag and uh, a matching tag as well with the same paper collection. Um, here I made the tag and also uh, made the little charm with the pearls and added some antique ribbons and trimmings there and use the paper collection to make a banner uh, with the same little images and also a belly band to fit those tags with um, just different uh, elements there that would match the paper collection. Um, here I've made uh, a page spread with two frames where she can slip in pictures and added a doily just to explain how the pictures can definitely fit back there and added four different types of trims and ribbons here for texture, all matching the paper collection, um, adding little gems and pearls also to make sure that they don't bump into the picture on the opposing page. I try to be conscious of that when I make my mini albums. Um, this one here has a different element at the bottom and I did add the velour ribbon and different um, an antique ribbon and different trims on that particular pocket um, that all match the collection. And this tag here has the horse from the carousel where I added a little feather and tool and backed it up uh, again in white. The next page has a, an oval frame that I cut out with a die and then the corners are from Crafter's Companion from the uh, Downton Abbey collection. Uh, this one here has uh, the little flower uh, that I cut out and inked and then I added the green pearls. The tag has the adorable little poodle jumping through the hoop and backed up with more ribbons and um, a banner from the paper collection. And it's all been distressed as well to match the pages. And then the last page here has the... Um, the frame with the three little flowers that I added uh, the embellishments to there and um, and also inked and then the very last page has a pocket that I made with the Cricut. I embossed that pocket and stamped the uh, butterflies on the inside. The banner that I made uh, was with a spellbinders die and I also added a little flower that I inked the trail of hearts and more little butterflies that I made with the Martha Stewart punch as well as the banners or um, the trims there, the lacy little trims from, with some dies from my stash. So I truly hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Um, there was a lot that I enjoyed about making this mini album. All of the details in the paper were very inspiring. It's a lovely collection. Um, so I was happy to be able to work with it. And uh, I hope that you guys can you know, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think about this mini album. Or if you have any questions, of course, I'll be more than happy to respond. 
um, again, I had tons of fun making it and I hope that you guys can be inspired and be blessed. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, uh, yet subscribed, uh, please do and give me a thumbs up and I will be back with more projects soon. I hope you guys can have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.